Hi, who and a great day. You're watching JFG Entertainment, and for this video, I'm gonna be going over the new MCU movies that got uh, delayed or completely cut off. Why? Well, Disney released an updated release schedule with the relation that six more movies have gotten changed uh, from release date. Most of them have gotten delayed, and one of them actually got completely removed. So, I'm gonna be talking about that, and along with that, they kind of gave us an idea of what the release strategy is gonna be for each movie. So, let's get started with the conversation. So, first of all, Blade has been delayed from November 3rd of 2023 to almost a whole year after in September 6th of 2024, taking Deadpool 3's old or a date or the original date, um, and it's just one week after Labor Day, abandoning the Halloween strategy that they had as it was supposed to come out, uh, literally right the weekend right after Halloween, it was supposed to come out, out and it would have kind of fit the theme. Nope, now since it's going to move into September, it's not going to have the Halloween theme at all. So that's really interesting. Uh, clearly, it's basically because of all the behind the scenes problems as the director has left that kind of happened like last, last, last week. So the director has left, the script is not done they have completely cut off post-production to kind of fix the script and find a director so that's really really interesting that they kind of they've taken the time to fix it and really it shows that they do it late so maybe i think my next next i think we can expect the director announced within the next month because i think they really need to start getting director post-production script finished so they can actually get make it to this release date so yeah it's really interesting but pretty cool uh, i think that uh, that's just nice i do kind of get bumped out that they kind of took off the halloween strategy because i think it would have done really good for this movie as it's vampires and uh vampire killing prison so come on how cool would that be in halloween but you know what it's fine it's, it's whatever as long as somebody comes out and as long as it's good and the script has been fixed so yeah also you can see how a cheetah works that's really funny all right we're on to the next movie that has been delayed and this is going to make a lot of people sad including myself and that is going to be Deadpool 3 it has been delayed from September 6 of 2024 which is the that now, that now Blade has to November 8 of 2024 so it's just a two month difference it's not super crazy but it still has been delayed and this takes Fantastic Four's old date now November 8 of 2024 kind of fits in line with what Black Panther Wakanda Forever is taking right now so that's interesting that they kind of trying to get that November date now um, settled for more movies. That's really, really cool. And I think it works really well because I think that it's going to allow the movie to play throughout Thanksgiving and everything. And I think it could do really well box office-wise. And we'll see. We'll truly find out how it can do box office-wise this year with Wakanda Forever. But I think that so, uh, at least from the potential it has, I think it has a lot of initial things to Thanksgiving. Um, usually this thing has like the movie opening and Thanksgiving week with an animated movie. So it makes sense that they would release it a little bit early before Thanksgiving and then that way that's played out and it has like really incredible holds. So yeah, and it plays throughout the holiday season. So yeah, that's really good. I think that's a really nice date and uh, that's so much better than the one that it used to have on September 6th, which now Blade has. Sucks for Blade, but that was three had these now has a really good date. So that's really awesome. Continuing with the delays, the third Marvel movie that got delayed was Fantastic Four from November 8th of 2024, which is not the day that uh, Lex Luthor 3 has, to February 14th of 2025. So it got delayed by three months. It sounds like a lot because, you know, it's like 2024, 2025. It sounds like a lot. It was only three months, so it's still a pretty big chunk of delay, but it's not like super crazy. And this makes the movie a Valentine's movie, which is really interesting. I said literally released on Valentine's Day, February 14th. So it's literally a Valentine's Day, and I think that's really Really nice. I think it's a really nice idea to make Fantastic Four a Valentine's thing. I think it's a really fantastic idea. Get the point. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that would be awesome, especially since Re Richards and Susan Storm are like literally right in front of it. They're a couple, and it's like this family family movie. You know, it's like the, the team of four. And everything. I think it could be a really nice Valentine's movie strategy. Originally, Thor: Love and Thunder was supposed to be a Valentine's movie, but they got delayed. Hopefully, this wasn't get delayed because I think it could work really well Fantastic Four. And like I said, I think just the idea of like. These two, this couple being in the front center while they spend time stay, I think it could honestly do really, really well box office wise. So we'll see if the MCU can somehow turn bad time stay into a huge box office hit. As this year it was not a box office hit, it actually really flopped. So we'll see if this movie can actually turn it. I mean, if anything can do it, it's Fantastic Four. Well, I mean, would you go to bad times with your date to see Fantastic Four? I mean, come on, it's Doctor Doom. How could you not go, you know? I think it's kind of needed. So yeah, and I think. Thanks to this date, we can start expecting maybe some casting announcements uh, by the end of the year, like around December. I think we're going to have to start expecting some casting announcements. So that's really interesting. All right, and we're into the next delay, and this one's going to be for an untitled MCU movie. And this untitled MCU movie has been pushed back from February 14th of 2025, which is the movie that, I mean, which is the date that Fantastic Four has now, to November 7th of 2025. So this one did get pushed by a lot, by a lot, a lot. I think it's like, what, 
seven months something like that so yeah and it's taking avengers secret wars old date and position it itself in the middle chapter as uh between uh avengers the kang dynasty and avengers secret war so it might be a movie a flashback movie kind of like ant-man and the wasp was back in with infinity war and in endgame as well as captain marvel it was like a flashback movie and only the post credit scenes were sent in present time to kind of ramp up the hype so it could be like that or it could be a completely different thing as well as we don't know what movie it is but we do have two unannounced mc movies that we know for sure are happening so it's one of these two it's either shang chi 2 which has been officially announced and i can i don't think it's gonna be shang chi 2 just because the director of shang chi is directing secret war i mean kang dynasty so since he's directing kang dynasty i don't think he has enough time to direct shang chi 2 however the other movie i think is more possible is going to be nova and nova has been officially announced already and i think nova is honestly most likely to be because i think they kind of need Nova to kind of upgrade the power scale of the Avengers for uh, Secret Wars. So I think it would be pretty awesome. And uh, come on, well, you, would you not watch a Nova movie? I think it would be pretty cool. And like I said, the director of Shang-Chi is a little busy right now with Kang Dynasty, so he would not have time, enough time to direct Shang-Chi 2, which he did time to direct. So we know that he is directing Shang-Chi 2, so he would not be able to direct these two movies. So that's why I think it's Nova. So it's expect the nova announcement soon hopefully uh that's my guess for it and if you have any other theories for what movie that is tell me that down in the comments all right we're on to the next delay and this one's gonna be for avengers secret wars which has been delayed from november 7th of 2025 to may 1st of 2026 which is like a seven month uh delay so it's a pretty big delay and it makes it sound so much further in 2026 like that's crazy this is making it uh, this is making the wait between avengers the kang dynasty which was on may 2nd of 2025 uh to this movie which was on may 1st like i said of 2026 a one-year wait similar to avengers of war and avengers angle strategy where it was literally almost quite literally one year it's the exact same thing here so that's really really interesting i think that strategy worked a lot for infinity war and endgame so i think this is going to work a lot more to build up the hype like yes 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 i think that i honestly think that strategy is the right way to go and as i already stated they put another movie in between the middle like i said i think it's nova they put that movie in the middle as a middle chapter so i think it's also pretty interesting that they're doing kind of the same strategy they went infinity war and endgame i was kind of surprised that they didn't have to do that from the start but it seems like they're going to backtrack it and do that strategy so that's interesting i think it's also pretty good because we have more time to film the scenes and not rush cgi which i think is going to need a lot of cgi uh and more again more cameras in as it literally is secret wars so i think this, this is a pretty good change despite the fact that we're going to get it later i think uh, in the long term uh it's going to be a pretty good change so yeah i'm still really excited for secret wars even though it sounds so far away 2026 oh my god that's so far away but still we're going to get it eventually okay and then lastly we're at an untitled film which was stated for may 1 of 2026 which is now the date of secret wars completely removed from the disney uh release schedule so that's really interesting my guess is that that was Shang-Chi 2's release date and I think they just took it off because they can't do Shang-Chi 2 while directors still were literally doing the Kang Dynasty so I think it makes sense they took it off but it's also interesting that they kind of find it to see Shang-Chi 2 as the movie right after Secret Wars we'll see or maybe they just have to take a little break kind of like how Endgame had a huge break uh, of movies into Black Widow so maybe they just have to take a little break we'll see um, but I think it's interesting they took that movie off so Hey, maybe they just want to have a little more break, like I said. So, yeah, tell me what you think about it. What do you think about these delays? Which one are you happy about? Which one are you really sad about? I know most of you are going to be really sad about Deadpool 3, like me. That's the one I'm really sad about. Uh, and which movies do you think they completely took off? And which one do you think is the one that got delayed that's entitled? I'm very, very curious to know that down in the comments. As well as just leave a like if you found this video informative or enjoyable. It will be very, very helpful. So, please, please, please leave a like and subscribe for the other content covering Marvel, DC, Star Wars, other shows in general, streaming, all type of stuff. Just subscribe to this channel for all our content and yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching hope you have a great rest of your day and this is james entertainment out